What you talking about, whoa, Diddy? Dis <laughs> dismissive aborted type relationship. See, I couldn't even get it out myself. It is that heavy. First and foremost, happy 4th of July. This 4th of July weekend. Hope you have great plans. Hope you're going to be safe. Don't be a dummy, kids, and drink and drive. And once again, I know you're wondering, man. What you talking about, well, Diddy? Dismissive avoidant type relationships are you in one do you, are you that type of person we're going to find out before we do we're going to allow youtube to do its magic and push out the stream let's listen to some fly songs i like to hear women sing so therefore place close attention one's going to sing like right now July weekend, you're on the early edition on the late night. We're talking about dismissive, avoidant type relationships. Are you in one? You black man is fair, man. Uh, dismissive, avoidant. I'm gonna talk about it. Matter of fact, I'm gonna talk shit. Say it's 
Somebody got a lover like that and Walt Diddy is known for putting a naughty on him. When the working day is down, girls just want to have fun. Walt Diddy do too. And we're talking about dismissive, avoided types of relationships. You black men, spirit guys. All of you. 98% of you. Come by. I'm running now. With you, I found my peace somehow. Cause I can't be around you. Joy you give me every day makes me forget that I was troubled before. Don't know if I'm dreaming, I'm slipping away. I hear your sweet voice, then I see your face. I never knew you could love someone like me. You
Happy Fourth of July. Happy Fourth of July weekend. You heard this one on the lady. Mainstream men, you black, you Negroes. Are you dismissive of one type of shit? We're gonna talk about that. Like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Let's jam a little bit. Last song. I can be your nighttime lover We'll dance under the moonlight cover The pleasures I will make you discover I'll make you feel like no one other We can be your nighttime lovers Nobody has to know nothing about us Accompanied by the birds and the summer night Drive you home before the sunrise. I can be a midnight lover. 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 I do believe it's time to get it started. Okay, Paso Mufaso, start screenwriter, director, producer. Whoa. Did he have me for a July weekend? It's on and popping. I know a lot of you Negroes is off. You vanilla people, you schedule yours way in advance. And listen, even Poppy ain't gonna be out there on the construction yard this weekend. It is going down. Happy birthday to the country. Us chocolate Negroes, hey those, we gave a lot. But 
before we get in that just welcome you on the early edition of the only late night walk diddy of course i am walk diddy sitting in with me that is dr red pill maxing and relaxing over that shoulder gotta hurry up with the show he got a party to go to that is wellington pump a nickel it's been asked in the comment section how does your producer sit back there and never say a word if you're not figuring that out by now that's on you shout out to everybody in the house first and foremost well i should say secondly it has crossed your mind, ma'am, ma'am, ma'am. You're asking, what you time at, like, Didi? The dismissive avoidant type relationship. Do you know about it? Have you ever heard? Well, probably, sir, 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 you Negro Manosphere guys, you might be suffering from these traits. Ladies, 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 it's not working with him and or her. Come join me. Perhaps we learn something together. That is the hope. That is the plan. But before we do that, before we do that, we're going to recognize people, but I will be remiss. It is a new custom here on uh, the Wall Diddy Show. Someone has to do these things, and I'm going to be that someone. When I open the show, we must get started with, you guessed it, ladies and gentlemen, before I even let you know what I'm about to do, I'm just going to go ahead and do it. Hope everyone is having a great weekend so far. If not, perhaps the opening rant will help you. Tonight's opening rant. Sir, 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 black manosphere, Negroes, chocolate women, women of all shapes, sizes, and genders, because I know how you do it. Pookie and Ray Ray are the top men in uh, the black community. I say again, Matter of fact, I'll say it differently. Pookie and Ray Ray makes the chocolate neighborhood from the 1% all the way to the absolute poorest go round. What do you mean? I mean, check out the music industry. Straight Pookie's and or Ray Ray. Shall we look at um, Biggie Smalls? That would be a Pookie. Guess who Ray Ray was? Absolutely. You guessed it. Sean P. Diddy Combs. Actually, you went back to Puffy. I'm the only Diddy. That's another video. I'm going to make it. Let's continue. Let's go to the world of religion. A man of T.D. Jakes is not a damn poogie. Who would be Ray Ray? You guessed it, the vanilla version, Joel Osteen. <laughs> Are you that blind? Are you that blind? Sir, 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 sir. Your very paychecks belong to the world of hip hop. Russell Simmons, <laughs> Ray Ray, run. And DMC, J Master J, pookies. See, a real pookie, when he gets the money, he keeps it. Floyd Mayweather, pookie. <laughs> what say you, high-value man, sir? See, you're getting confused, the savages, right? The dudes that come by and chew the damn club up and or, uh, hell, you can't even make out they real skin no more. They got that many damn tattoos. That's a different breed of people. That is not pookie nor Ray Ray. Last point I want to make, Ray Ray is the reason your high-value black man is for a son, Went to damn college. Who the hell you think run them football camps? Who the hell you think barbershop that is? That is Ray Ray. Does he smash your baby almost from time to time? Absolutely. But it's a small price to pay because your son went to college and or possibly playing semi-pro sports. That has been the opening rant. Hope you enjoyed it. Let's go to the chat and then we'll get into said information. Shout out to Cut doggy dog. What's happening, fam? He said, well, did he? I said, what's happening, fam? Happy 4th of July. Never let the Negroes tell you differently. We have fought in every damn war on this planet, up to including getting sprayed with damn water hose. Celebrate the 4th of July. And if it makes you real pro, pro, pro black feel better, they gave Negroes the days off on the 4th of July and Christmas. It's another video. I don't think I will take my time to make it. Shout out to you, Charles Willie. And greetings to you, ma'am, and thank God it is Friday. <laughs> hey, listen, because R. Kelly got 30 years, let's shout him out. Thank God it's Friday. Party lights, Sunday night, in the morning. Bam, jam. Would, I mean, did he pick them too young? Absolutely. Could the motherfucker make a song? You best believe it. That's another video. They'll probably ban me if I make it. I won't. Shout out to you, Charlie. Willie. I hope you have a wonderful 4th of July. I know that you're probably going to be cranking up a screen, and guess what? I'm going to be in the damn clouds. 
As a matter of fact, I'm going to say hello in the chat. Then I'm going to go away because men are messier than women. They're more jealous than women this days and time. So I don't need all that. Shout out to you, Charlie. I'd like to say what's upper to the West Coast. Double M, shout out to you, vanilla face and cheer. And you're welcome, my brother. Ebony and ivory, good girl and perfect. Harmony, sign my side of my piano. You think I won't butcher a damn song? <laughs> You're on the wrong show. Shout out to you, Double M. Hope you and yours are enjoying the full. Be safe. Traffic will be extra ish out there, no matter what the price of gas is. What these people getting money on the West Coast? I do not know, but they're going to keep it either a skateboard, fresh pair of chucks, or a damn car to mess up traffic. That's another video. I just might make that one. I'm not sure. Big up. Hope you're ready for a jam-packed show with only one topic. Only one topic. Once again, like, share, subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Give Walt Diddy the opportunity. Sir, 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 the economy is shit. For a lack of better term, excuse me, Charlie Willie, I know you don't use this type of language. The economy is shit. You keep going over there to get entertained, man. I'm telling you, if you're in North Carolina, you better cuff your chick. Edward Anderson, I'm sure you ain't got no damn woman. But if I find out that you do, I don't give a damn what she look like. I, 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 I'm shooting a shot on her. You may well take my picture and tell her in advance. I ever catch you talking to Walt Diddy, blah, 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 blah. Like, you let me, you sure. I'm hollering that motherfucker. Just all the fight, spite a hole in the grudge. Anyway, shout out to you. You have heard the opening rant. You have been recognized if you're in the chat early. If you pop up during the stream, guess what? I come back to the chat and try to shout you out. That is what I do. And I know you manuscript men, you're hating. And you're wondering, what you talking about Walt Diddy? Dismissive, avoidant type relationships. This is real. It is absolutely plaguing uh, the chocolate community. We don't understand why we go through the things we do because we forget one major important, I mean, just absolutely exhibit A, fact. We're different. I know you heard the song. I'm everyday people. No, the hell we know. No, throw it away. That was a different time. That was a different time, and it's not this time. People so damn different and uh, in their own bubbles this day and time, it is absolutely ridiculous. But yet and still, nature calls, and you see that hanky, and your little panky said, and you're trying to get it there, right? You see what I'm saying? I understand that thing. Ma'am, ma'am, ma'am. You seen the dude that made your kitty go <laughs> I mean, just, you hot and bothered. All this motherfucker got to do is just come talk to you and not say something stupid, and it's on the popping. It's on the popping. You're not going to be ashamed because this may be a sing-along. Kim chemistry, chemistry told us, there's nowhere to run when lust is calling your name. Remove love and lust is not that damn separate, ladies and gentlemen. It's the lust that makes the anyway. That's another video. Go to a dating coach. I'm sure they perhaps stumbled over that. But are you in a dismissive, avoidant type of relationship? Sir, 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 sir. Are you struggling? Were you leaning on the everlasting arm of one Kevin Samuels? Are you in a void right now? You just can't get you, you know what I'm saying? If you ever watched a life, you can't get right. You make it, if you get up the bat and they give you a chance, you make it to knock it out of the park. But we just met you some right, you know, as Eddie Murphy said, that's all can't get right. You can't get right. Can't get right. That's why you should come here, sir, 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 sir. If you're a millennial or a millennial, stay the hell away from stupid black manosphere conversation. There's an online world, and then ta-da, you go through damn your grocery store, ain't nobody checking for you. They don't give a damn about your YouTube channel. You gonna leave with your YouTube channel? Exactamundo muchacho. I'm gonna say that again. I don't give a fuck if you got 50,000 subscribers. That's an online world, sir. S sir, sir, sir. Are you gonna be at the damn grocery store handing out your... And just think about it. Most of you black money, motherfucker. You don't want said a woman to know you got a damn channel. But she be like, mm, I thought, eh. that's how white women do. Eh. Black women, eh. black women, white women. Most, I mean, white women that ain't hang around us too long because y'all gonna pick up. Warning, 
if you non-chocolate and come dealing with us, I'm sorry. No matter what we are in life, it's coming on your ass. That's just what we do. It's all black magic. I'm going to continue. The chocolate sister. <laughs> you vanilla Beckys. <laughs> you Guadalupe's. Damn, I look, they're aggressive. Man, they fight. Well, I'm telling you. Shit. Don't nobody probably get abused more than a damn Mexican dude. She go upside that motherfucker here. And with them, to, I mean, it's going down. It's going down. That's another video. Let's not even get too far in the weeds because you're wondering what you're talking about. Well, Diddy, this dismissive, dismissive, avoiding relationship. And let's not lean on our own understanding as we do on this show. What? And this is our attachment style series that we're going to be doing pretty much all weekend. This is very, very important. Um, I hope that you heed these warnings that I'm about to share with you, especially if you're teetering around 30 and under 40. L lean out on your own understanding. On this show, I'm going to tell you about the dumb shit I've done, and hopefully you do not have to walk over that landmine in a trying time when economics, technology, and everything is just, boom, about to take over. So if you was to Google, and I recommend that you do, so you know that I'm being factual with you, dismissive, avoidant. That is an attachment style we'll get into it. But here's just a quick definition I'm going to read, so you don't have to. It's 4th of July weekend, I'm sure. You may be smoking you one, drinking you some Hennessy, and or doing other illegal activities, so you don't need to kind of, you know, read and do what you're doing. Probably shouldn't have said that, but it's too late. I'm reading so you don't have to. Dismissive, avoided attachment is a term for when someone tries to avoid emotional connection attachment and closeness to other people a person with dismissive avoiding attachment usually doesn't pursue romantic relationships and may actively avoid them who, who, who does that sound like if you are chocolate all right your favorite content creator your damn favorite content creator more often than not i'm going to read that definition again and this is true Think about this conversation that we're about to have and you're in your workplace. Think about this conversation you're going to have you're in your relationship. Think about this conversation we're about to have and it's a family member because the person at the store, I mean, a distributor, a distributor, a supplier, an acquaintance that you have to do business with. Think about this definition again because it's germane. When we talk relationships, that's a broad term. It's a noun. You have a relationship with places that you go. That's why it's a person, place, or thing. But no, 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 no. We play on semantics and uh, the traumas, the emotional traumas of others. We try to get points across, and it just makes all of you, I mean, fall further behind. Stupid is, and stupid does. If you're stupid every day, you're never going to learn nothing. I'm going to read that again so you don't have to. Like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Happy 4th of July weekend. Be safe out there. Don't be a dummy can. Dismissive avoidant attachment is a term for when someone tries to avoid emotional connections, attachment, and closeness to other people. A person with a dismissive avoidant attachment usually doesn't pr pursue romantic relationships and may actively avoid them. So how do we get to a state of being dismissive of boy? Do you think that, you know, it could happen as a kid, but the average kid, average, well, I'm not talking about economics, but the average, with pre, if you are older millennial, especially Xers and boomers, we had to make relationships outside. Zillennial, there was a thing called physical education, and hell, you had to, that was a credit that you had to have to graduate. And it up to including dressing out into athletic gear from using, putting your clothes in a locker and participate in physical activities. But what's going to happen when you do that? After so long, you'll get into your own groups and you're a pair of bone, whether it's the homies, the homegirls, dating, mating, and all those things. This is known. 
along the way somehow, whether it was a high school prom, college, you know, a divorce like I went through, or a real, real bad breakup, is it possible that we develop a dismissive, avoidant type relationship? I mean, with our environment, with our coworkers, with people that we know and supposed to love, and your intimate partner. Could that be something that is not being discussed? Because just by definition, and I know you're saying, we can make a double definition of it. We'll just look at the description. Damn definition. Let's call it a description. The description of a dismissive, avoiding attachment, meaning this person and how he or she attaches to persons, places, or things. So that's the context we putting it in. And that type of person is dismissive avoiding is a term for someone that tries to avoid emotional connections, attachments, and closeness to other people. A person with dismissive avoiding attachment usually doesn't pursue romantic relationships and may actively, actively avoid them. Just like a running back. Ladies, you know, you watch damn football. Dude trying to tackle him, stick an arm out there and he ain't That kind of, oh, you're getting too close to me. Sabotage. Let's continue just a little bit more because we got to put things in the context, right? I, I pride myself in not leaning on my own understanding. So here's a brief history of attachment theory. Gentlemen, you have an attachment to the content creator. You have an attachment to the damn message that you're hearing. You ain't got none of this shit going on, that you, but somehow you have an attachment. So I'm going to read this so you don't have to like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell. This is real brief. Once we go through it, I'll be in the chat. Shout out to you if you're watching in the clouds. You're on the early edition of the On the Late Night Walk Day. It's 8.37 p.m. Guess what? On the East Coast. Walk Diddy going to go do something. He's going to have fun. Cause he knows when the working day is done, oh girls, they wanna have fun. fun. What did it do too? Here's the history of attachment theory. Attachment styles are based on attachment theory, which is an idea that breaks down the different ways that people connect with others into an assortment of attachment styles. It was invented by British. British man. Do you know this guy? Wellington said he know the dude family, man, that did this. You know, he from the UK. Uh, Wellington Pumpernickel back there. It was invented by British psychologist John, B you say what? He said Bowley, who believes that how we connect with others is based on uh, a formative years in childhood. Makes sense. Now, I know what you're saying. Well, did you say something different earlier? Absolutely, I did. Because childhood, actually, the great Abraham Lincoln said, you're responsible for yourself after 30. There was a long time ago where 25 wasn't grown. Did you know that? Unless you have taken a wife or a husband, y'all got a family, and then, sir, congratulations. You're going to get on this motherfucking farm, and you're going to feed them. But it's not always been 18, 19, 20-year-old adult. Young adult, F you or generation uh, X or a boomer, when you went to the church in the young adults choir or the young adults Sunday school, they were still 25, 27 years old in there. Tell me I'm wrong. They didn't go in there with the damn adults. The 30 and under was in there with the young adults. Teens, to, I'm trying to help somebody. Don't accept it. Keep going over there, listen to something stupid. Watch what the economy and uh, the dating market does to you. That's another video. I think I will make that one. Attachment theory is broken down into three distinct types of attachments. Let's go through them and when we'll focus on the topic at hand after we go to the chat. But I thought that you need to know this. Chocolate matters for guys, Negro matters, black, whatever. Divestment ladies, all of you that like to talk relationships, and your passion, I, I be hearing a lot of passion and 
we throwing rocks at the we got to go to the source all right you got to go to the social source the media source the music industry source the entire entertainment sports source do you understand that they're driving the culture corporations drive the culture once upon a time you could be a street scholar stand on a soapbox and move the crowd as the rakim would say no longer no longer your your favorite social influencer has been deemed either reckless or harmless and both of them can be controlled i'm going to say it again your favorite content creator hundred thousand millions they either reckless or can be controlled their voice their platform their mannerisms their level of masculinity their level of femininity it is controlled they understand whether consciously or unconsciously I ain't going to try to deviate from these guidelines. I'm not going to try to say nothing truthful. Controversy? My ass, we're going to talk about video games. How to make your hair the best weave. Right? Google what black men looking for. Haircuts, beers, and shit. Anyway, that's a bonus rant. Hope you enjoyed it. Let's go through these attachment styles. And I think, and trust and believe I'm going to download this and be a separate so you get the first attachment style that we're going to take a look at is secure this attachment style is often considered the most functional for adult relationships it didn't say marriage it didn't say dating it said relationships people who are seek excuse me securely attached to others are able to close to form close bonds and give their trust they seek support from others and share their feelings with them. It's important that I read that again because how many secure people do you know? How many secure content creators do you know? How many secure social media influencers do you know? Right. It can be read. 93% of communication is non-verbal body language. Once again, these are the attachment styles. We're gonna just read these and I'll be in the chat and we'll have a conversation. Stay with me. Like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Happy 4th of July. Weekend year on the early edition on the late night walk. Diddy it is 8.43 in the p.m. Once again, we're talking about the attachment styles and the top of this conversation, if you're wondering what you're talking about, Diddy, is dismissive avoidant type relationships that attachment style in relationships so secure this attachment style is often considered the most functional for adult relationships people who are securely attached to others are able to form close bonds and give their trust they seek support from others and share their feelings with them i totally concur i'd, I'd agree i'd agree and i'd like to think i'm I'm not that. I'm damn close to it. Number two is anxious. And we're going to be talking about this. This is part of our series. And we will continue to go through these definitions with each part of the series. Number two is anxious type of attachment style. Those who have an anxious, so anxious, me at 1130, low in your tongue and dirty, all the time. Uh, man, that shit used to drop at the club. Doom, doom, doom. Anyway, that's another video. Sorry you millennials missed it. Every once in a while there was a fight. And I mean, every blue moon somebody, one dude had a pistol out of 50. That's in the 90s. God, I'm money. Sorry for you guys. Hmm. Anxious type attachment style. Those who are, excuse me, those who have an anxious Attachment style experience anxiety about their relationships with others. Anxious attachment people get very invested in their relationships, possibly to the point of co-dependency. This anxiety tends to worsen in stressful situations. Do you see that in the panels to nowhere? Ladies and gentlemen, I don't care what your shade of color are. The arguments. The insecurity. They're so invested. Who's oh, the black man? How you gonna talk about Stuff like that. 
That's what that is. And if you look at the key word, and we're going to focus on this, we got to get two hours for the uh, conversation. We're working from three to one in this series. But look at the word codependency. The anxious person, a lot of you men, you leached on to the narcissistic person. A lot of you women that were anxious, you leached on, and it is the yin and it is the yang. It is a magnet effect. They seek the anxious person out. All right. They won't know you are secure until they have to vet you, try to groom you and all them things. And she a woman. I ran into some. But you caught me at the wrong age where I'm accepting wisdom and not leaning on my own understanding. Plus, I'm thinking like Mike Tyson, my, my defense is impregnable. I seen that shit a long time ago. I ain't all that. I talk a little ish and everything, but I'm not the tallest. Damn sure I ain't got the most money. Might be winning a little bit with my physique, but I ain't stupid. Anyway, codependency. That is a term you hear a lot when PhDs, the real ones, they talk about their fields. The doctors, the psychiatrists, the narcissistic relationships dynamic. They only have long-term relationships with codependents. Sir, if you came from a broken home, it's possible you had some codependency. I did. You are codependent if you got to go next door to bar sugar, milk, and shit like that. You're going to be have some codependency if you're like me. You grew up with no damn running water. So you walk down about a mile to your damn auntie's house. And it's not a good feeling. Lucky for me, like I always tell you all, I ran into some mentors, got some game, and I was raised in them streets. I'm a bad man. I don't need your damn love. It's an action. Love you. Walk did it. Shit. Bag of pie. You ain't show shit. Anyway. So that's anxious. And here's the definition. I want to get it a little bigger for absolutely. We're going to go full screen. And I highlighted that. Let's get into our subject matter. Avoidant. Attachment style. Avoidant. Avoid. Take the ant off. Avoid. People who have an avoidant attachment style try not to get close with others. They often avoid intimacy and may have problems seeing themselves in a positive light and seeing others that way. Think about that. Read it one more time and then we're going to go full screen to chat to chat. People, I'm telling you, dismissive avoidant. It's telling you what that person is. The dismissive. The, you know what a dismissive person is? Avoidant. That's your red flag. These are the type of people you say hello to and you keep your ass going. These types of people have a lot of things they have to resolve on their own. And when you are in relationships with it, it's going to take the levels of endorphins it's going to let out. She's going to be the dude, woman that's going to put the damn nasty on you. Ma'am, he's going to blow your damn back out, anticipate your needs, and then all that shit is going to change because the chemicals inside of their head are going to say, no, 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 blah, blah, blah. And we're going to get into that right now. Thank you for letting me take you the long way. Usually it's a little shorter. Take a quick look in the chat. Shout out to everybody that's here. You're in the right place if you're stopping by. I know a lot of you guys, I mean, you stupid ass black manosphere algorithm. We're going to talk shit about y'all all the time. I should have put you in the title. I didn't. I'm going to remember to next time. Dismissive avoidant. Let's see what Charlie Willie says. Charlie Willie is saying, peace. Cut down. She's doing pretty well. That is good. Shout out to you. Peace to you. Cut. And I know it's a lot of people. I do a show and then 700 y'all to come back. <laughs> Charlie Willie, they don't want to deal with me in real time. But they want to know what I'm talking about. Because they know I know... From your master teachers, to, I, I know you, listen. All of us did not have to go through rituals to be naturally initiated, man. Most of your chocolate street scholars have studied the arts of taboo. Books, lectures, esoteric knowledge. Negroes don't read. They talking, uh, talking about a lot of shit. At work. I'm like, what the hell? Man, that was for chocolate men to get a damn job. 
You know how many initiated people in prison? No, you ain't getting away with breaking no crime, Negro. You in prison. Take your ass, your large ass to prison. You think kills ain't? Prison. Bill Cosby. Shitting me? Prison. Sean Poe. I can go on and on. You taking your ass to pr black woman, your ass will go too. Give a damn if you use a damn Delta or whatever. Shit, how crazy. You better have some money. I'm the road. I said, y'all the damn dumbest Negroes I ever met in my life. I'm sick and tired of them too. I'm going to break that out. Back to dismissive avoiding attachment. We're going to skip around that in uh, the replay. A lot of you men are suffering from it. And I'm giving you the game. This is the opening of the series. I need you to really think about what the hell I'm telling you. Look at the look on that young lady's face. You see that shit all the time. You can't save everyone. That's the biggest problem in any community, trying to save people that don't want to be damn saved. They didn't ask you to save, ain't crying out for help. They want negativity. They don't know what the fuck to do if it's not negative. But yet still, you risk yourself, your friends, your family, and everything you got going on is going to have a ripple effect. If we don't wrestle just against flesh and blood, but principalities and wickedness, and high, what the hell you think walk among you? If you believe everything your favorite entertainer says, you're going to fall into the category and become dismissive avoidant. Look at the top rappers and entertainers. They dismissive avoidant. Ezra Miller is a damn dismissive avoidant. Wouldn't know what to do with a healthy relationship if it landed on his damn lap, and it has, I'm sure. No matter what the hell his preface is, you know these people. Do you hear your favorite male content creator ever tell you about a healthy relationship he has had? Hell no, that's a red flag, dude. Nobody's been through that kind of shit. Even Precious, I didn't watch the whole movie. I'm sure there's a good damn moment in there. I had to stop watching when she stole the damn chicken. I said, look at this man like shit. This woman done went here and stole the book of the chicken right now. And they couldn't catch her. I said, shit, I ain't watching it. That's another video. Anyway, dismissive avoidant. Let's look at the definition. I'm not going to bore you to death with it because Walt Diddy got something to do, but he got to get his content out. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's got to get out. It's, it's, it's just got to get out. And here's the definition so you don't even have to think about it. Google dismissive avoidant. And we're talking about the dismissive avoidant type of relationship. When you're in a relationship, whether that's your friend, your brother, your mother, those are relationships. I didn't say dating. I didn't say sex. I didn't say marriage. Relationships, dude. You working on a machine with somebody else. Guy, you on a damn construction crew. This person is there. And you're wasting your time and energy, kind of like a, um, a verse Kanye said in Real Friends. I'm always blaming you. It was sad. You're not the problem. That's a dismissive avoidant. Kanye dismissive avoidant. Dismissive avoidant attachment is a term for, for when someone tries to avoid emotional connection, attachment, and closeness to other people. A person with dismissive avoidant attachment usually doesn't pursue romantic relationships and may actively avoid them. 98% of you black man is from men with no romance that hit you in your damn face. And then I punch and slap you and say, hey, damn boy, that's, that's romance. No, no. Now you may understand bump and grind, pay to play, pump, all these things, but none of that's healthy. After about 30, 35, man, I'm trying to help you with something. I'm trying to help you with something. You're going to be broke. Don't let the, the entertainers, I'm start calling them entertainers, they're not celebrities. The entertainers fool you. They're usually the most miserable. The prophet Kanye also told you the people highest up has the lowest self-esteem. Think about these things. Dismissive avoidant. There's many of you men cannot, I mean, you lose your shit when a, a, a woman gets on the panel and just politely disagree. You're dismissive avoidant. I would say out of the million followers, a lot of them was bots, but a good 100,000 chocolate men that follow Kevin Samuels are either already dismissive avoidant 
oh well on their damn way. The dismissive avoidant person, problem resolution, no good. Can't handle conflict. Someone disagreeing. And if you're kind of suffering from that, you're only weak when you don't ask for help. Les Brown, the great motivational speaker, once said, we ask for help because we want to remain strong, not because we're weak. So if you want to be weak, you want to ask for help. If you want to be weak, you won't give yourself a chance at being happy. You know, you got to know that that, and I'm telling you, for someone that came up probably with a little codependency, you got to know that you're more than enough. That's why I tell you on this show all the time, because you are. And uh, it's like gambling, you know, dating, getting into a close friendship. It, it's a risk. And know if you're or a person that has any of these qualities, you're not less than, you just have a little opportunity with trust and you went through a bad experience. And somehow, some way, you got the power within you to, you can't probably forget or erase, but to make peace with it because you're telling yourself, listen, I deserve to be happy. This damn woman, she ain't, you know what I'm saying? In your mind, uh, it happened to me, gentlemen. You think, it's too good to be true, and somebody else putting a naughty on. She probably wasn't. Ma'am, you thought he was too good to be true. He got to be doing something, girl. Man, it's just from my past. If you're from the neighborhood, we're all from the same neighborhood more often than not, and there's some exceptions to the rule, and that neighborhood is sometimes scratching and surviving. That neighborhood is a lot of conflict, yelling. That neighborhood is a lot of mistrust. But also, there's some decent people in that neighborhood. There's some wisdom in that neighborhood. And perhaps you may have received it, and what happened to you, or what she did, he did, they did, is just kind of overriding that program. Once you start believing that you're more than enough in these things, you will either repel yourself from dismissive, avoided people. You pick it up in conversation. It's the damn naysayer. Dismissive, avoided. Look at the damn relationships, whether it's family, whatever. Look at the relationships on YouTube. Water six is on level. This the dismissive, avoided men. All the motherfuckers hang out together, share their own. Con they bring each other up because they need a for, for one to have a bass that I got friends and support. But actually, that's another place for them because they all talking the same. Dismissive, avoided. Bullshit. I'm trying to help you. I don't concentrate on the women that's no good. What the hell? That makes no sense. That makes no sense. But what does make sense is 4th of July weekend. I want to thank everybody, man. Y'all coming out. We're going to take another look at the chat. What did he got something to do tonight? I'm going to do something for myself. I may come back on the late night, but it is what it is. We got the show's program. Go to my wall. Go ahead and smash the button. Smash the button. Perhaps we get a bigger crowd, but we're not going to worry about that. Walt Diddy does not depend on you to defeat him. I keep something in the pocket. I ain't going to flash on y'all, but it is what it is. Shout out to Charles Willis. Shout out to Cut Dog. Shout out to Cut Dog. Big up to Double M. West Side. West Side, I should say. Number one member of this show. Support is always appreciated. I appreciate you, Matt, from day one. Day one. Wait till the economy get nasty. <laughs> and that, 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 um... I ain't in all that shit talking. Oh, what you want on the black man is fair? Ain't gonna do you no good, guys. Do you do you no good? I know your pocket's hurting. The statistics is out there. People making a hundred K is whining about living paper check to paycheck. So how you feeling in the 80, 70, 60? Shut your mouth. Hmm? Paying the child's poor the gas done went up. You think hot girl summer ain't gonna happen. Y'all show damn mind it's recession proof. Huh? What a recession proof in the Great Depression? Dead babies being made. We're at War One, still bumming and grinding. We're at War Two, dropped a damn nuclear bomb. Guess what? Japan came back, bump and grind. You got your stupid mind. You were dismissive, avoided. I'm trying to help you. I'm trying to help you, Black Man You don't want no help. You will soon. You will soon. Stock market crash. Twenty nine, bumming and grinding. Shit, plantation. You think Jasper didn't go down there and holler, Janie? Damn right, didn't cause him nothing. 
She seen him out there playing the fiddle. She's like, ooh, child, play that fiddle. Long master wasn't coming by. Probably wouldn't. Y'all got that. Ain't that many damn yellow ones on the day. Gosh, y'all damn mind. Ooh, child, play that fiddle. Ain't that many damn yellow ones on the day. Gosh, y'all damn mind. Shit. She damn just, all she could do is just sit there and fake it. Shit like a damn motion. He went in that motherfucker up two minutes. She go wash it up. Jasper! Anyway, hope you enjoyed the show. Go ahead and hit the dislike button, man. I do not care. Ladies, come over and get yourself some game. The economy is getting bad. <laughs> it is what it is. Go ahead and share with your girlfriends for two reasons. Number one, I asked nicely. Number two, hell, I'm not that bad on the eye. And number three is a bonus. Hell, I thank you because men are haters. It is 9.01 in the p.m. You've been on the early edition on Late Night Well, Diddy. Need to leave you with something important because I care for those that stop by. I need you to be safe. You know there's going to be people out there drinking and then getting behind the wheel. You need to be safe. Expect roadblocks. You need to be safe. Give a little extra distance. You need to be safe. No matter what the economy, when holidays come and it's time to party, the poorest of the poor, find the funds for alcohol, narcotics, loud music, and I'm going to tell you again, men, Hot Girl Summer is recession-proof because I was just at the damn grocery store. They cheeks was out, and guess what? Her milkshake brought all the buzz to the yard, and I was like, I got to go, and I left. But it proved my damn point. Shout out to you. Remember this. We all go through some heartaches. I am thanking God that I'm not a dismissive avoider because when my father walked out on the family, I'm his namesake. He never came back, guys. I mean, never. No birthday presents, no nothing. Didn't show up high school, graduation, no football, nothing. But before he left, he used to look me in these two eyes and say, Walter, you can do anything you want to do if you put your mind to it. It's a fact that I'm putting my mind on making this content. It is an absolute fact amongst all these weird-ass Negroes that's online. I am the encourager, not a discourager. And this is also a fact. I found that there was some special inside of me, so I got better. That said, I know for a fact there's just as much, if not more, special inside of you. Guess what it's time to do? Let it out, let it out, let it out, let it out. Don't let it be in there. Have the life you want to. Have the relationships you want to, whether that's family, friends, or intimate. And have the absolutist, absolutist, damn, I like that word, absolutist, greatest, safe, July the 4th weekend that you ever had. Matter of fact, I know my audience will, and you know it for a fact for this very simple reason. Well, Diddy, you spoke life on you, and unfortunately, I got ish to do tonight, and I'm gone. We can go on.